Good afternoon, everyone. I know it's been a while since I did my last video. I've been kind of busy. Um, most of the stuff that I'm going to be showing today is going to be... Um, well, some, some of it is going to be from Second and Charles that I stopped at. But a lot is going to be from the Indiana Comic Con that I went to a couple weeks ago. Um, got some really neat stuff, and I'm excited to show it all off. Uh, so first up here I have Rock and Roll Comics number 14 featuring the Sex Pistols. Love old school punk rock stuff, so I was really really excited to find it. It's pretty cool. Uh, then we have uh, this I got for my fiance, Supergirl number one, the um, skateboard variant. Really cool, I think. Um, and we got Superman 81, a little bit of a spec book with the whole uh, black suit thing, full, full appearance of him in his black suit. Then we have Marvel's book four, um, trying to track down the whole series, um, pull, pull them out of dollar bins or whatever. Um, love the cover. Always had a crush on Gwen Stacy, so it's cool. Um, Gambit number one. Thought that was kind of neat. Uh, another for the fiance's collection. She loves the Bird of Prey, so I found a uh, Brightest Day Birds of Prey number one. I think this is the second print. Um, first appearance of White Canary, um, which is cool, which is on the CW show, even though it's a completely different character on the show, but still pretty neat. Um, Uncanny X-Men 148, it's not in the best condition by any means. Um, it was, it was a dollar at a flea market. Um, first appearance of Caliban, though. So that's pretty cool. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause. The dogs are going crazy. Um, Wonder Woman number nine. I believe this is the first appearance of full full appearance of this new version of Cheetah. Amazing cover. George Perez just knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, next up. Found in a 50 cent bin. The rest of these are all going to be from the uh, from the Comic Con. This is in a 50 cent bin. I don't know anything about it. Um, kind of looks like some sort of spawn ripoff, to be honest with you guys. Hall of Heroes presents Vortex number one. Um, what I like on there, it's a signed and numbered copy, 704 of 1000. If, uh, Anybody knows anything about this, you know, um, hit me up in the comments. Anyway, back to the some more books here. Got Tomb Raider number six, Fantastic Joe Jusco cover. Um, seen a lot of people show this off, so I was happy to find it. Um, looks like a photograph, man. Joe Jusco is just such a crazy, crazy good painter. Um, Rick and Morty number one, and one of the variants for Rick and Morty number one. Just cool to have. I don't think it's a first printing. I think it, I think it's a, like a third printing, and then a second printing uh, with the variant. But still cool to have. Like the show. It's funny stuff. Uh, this one here is really cool. Um, Alex Ross cover Red Sonia number one. Um, haven't read any of these Red Sonias yet, trying to get a few, uh, like a whole little run going together before I start reading them, but man, these covers kick ass. Um, this is a pretty cool little series, uh, I guess these were from Second and Charles, the whole series here, um, Punisher POV, uh, Jim Starlin wrote it and Bertie Wrightson drew it, um, same team that did Batman the Cult, so that's really cool. Um, haven't read him yet, looking forward to it, but I got uh, issue one, excuse me, issue two, issue three, and issue four, the whole series. 
And then speaking of Punisher, I also have Marvel Knights Punisher number one. Happy to have that. Such a fun book. I'm trying to get all of the uh, Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon Punisher. Um, not necessarily all the Garth Ennis, but definitely the stuff that he did with Steve Dillon I'm, I'm going to pick up. Um, got New Teen Titans Annual number two. Um, first appearance of Vigilante. Um, I've picked this up before in a much lower grade, so this is a definite upgrade. And again, as a dollar, gotta love it. Uh, another book from the con, uh, New Mutants number 14, first uh, appearance, uh, well, not first appearance really, but first time Ilyanya becomes magic. Um, cool to have. Uh, this is my second copy. Um, they're both in about the same grade. I mean, they're reader copies, nothing, nothing spectacular, but still a cool book. Um, then, uh, New Mutants Annual number six, uh, first Shatterstar, if I remember correctly, uh, just, just a book I needed to kind of complete my New Mutants run. I think I'm down to like maybe one or two left. I know I need, um, a first print of 87 and I think there's just like one other random life all issue that I need, um. And then I'll have that complete run finished. Um, some Harley Quinn, uh, number 26. Number 27. I think these are from the the uh, the New 52 run. And I believe these are like the first appearance of Red Tool, the uh, Deadpool ripoff character. And then Harley Quinn number 30, just a fantastic cover. Such a, such a cool idea, the way that it's, the way that Amanda Connor drew that. Gotta love it. Um, Green Arrow 137, if I remember correctly, this is the last issue. Um, I, I'm trying to collect every... Green Arrow titled comic there is been my favorite character for forever um I think I'm within 50 books of having everything that has his name on the cover uh so it was really cool um The Demon Annual number two, uh, first appearance of Hitman. Um, this is an upgrade copy for me. I have I have another copy of it. Um, I've been collecting Hitman in the trades, but I think I'm going to go single issues as well. Um, it's such a cool series. Uh, Garth Ennis was just hitting on every, firing on every cylinder, I should say. Just really, really love the series. Um, next, this is a book for the fiance that I picked up for Dazzler number one. She wants to start collecting some titles and we we're discussing things and she's, she like intrigued by Dazzler. So to start her on her journey, I got her a number one. Um, now I got a few Adam Hughes books here that I'm going to show off. Um, I think everybody knows what that is. Ferris number three, such a such a cool, cool, cool cover, and Adam Hughes can do no wrong. Uh, next, I have Ghost number one. Um, I didn't notice this until I got it home, and girlfriend actually pointed it out to me. Right there, it is autographed. I got this for 50 cents, guys. I mean, I don't know if it's a legit autograph. There's no certificate of authenticity in there, but I mean, why would you bother faking it? So, just cool. That was really cool to find. And super happy to see that it was autographed. Um... Legionnaires number 16, another Adam Hughes cover. I think that completes 
the Legion Airs stuff that he did for me. Um, I might need one more. I have to double check, but the never ending quest to, uh, get all of his covers goes on. Um, more Adam Hughes, the, um, barbed wire ash can. Um, yeah, cool little thing. Um, Another barbed wire. I don't remember the issue number on this. Uh, issue 8. Barbed wire issue 8. Uh, barbed wire number 1. Um, still trying to find a reasonable price on the um, uncentered cover. So, still cool to find those. Um, then... Just a few more here. Um, Bat Babe number one by from Spoof Comics. Another early Adam Hughes cover. Uh, then Batman 197. It's not in any sort of good condition at all. It's pretty bad. But it was a 12 center. Neat to have. Um... I don't have much in the way of older comics anymore, so just thought it'd be cool to pick up. Um, got Catwoman and Batgirl on the covers, pretty neat cover, so it was a dollar. Eh, why not? Um, and we have Action Comics 894, um, the first death in continuity. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then my last book, Catwoman 57, Adam Hughes, tribute cover to Lone Wolf and Cub. Lone Wolf and Cub is one of my favorite series of all time. Um, seen all of the movies, re slowly recollecting all of the single issues. Um, saw this, absolutely had to have it. Um, this is one that I absolutely want to get autographed and hung up on my wall. I got a lot of uh, different autographed comics on the wall, so this is for sure one that I want to put up. One of my favorite covers of all time. Um, so yeah, so that, that's my haul for this week. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more regular videos. Um, I'm toning down down for a little while of how much hunting that I'm doing. I got some credit cards and stuff that I want to get paid off first. So I'm going to be doing collection spotlight videos, um, just a short box at a time, go through and uh, pull some cool looking books out of it and show off some of the neat stuff that I have. Um, probably show off some of some of my prints and original artwork that I have up on my walls in the meantime, too. Um, but yeah, as, as far as collecting goes, I'm just uh, getting my weekly comics. But other than that, I'm going to wait um, until I can do some more digging again. So, all right, guys. Thanks. You have a great day.